Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the top digital download services for games that are out there right now in 2017. Uh, these services each come with their own app for managing your downloads as well as logging into your account management, um, but they also serve as stores for purchasing um, games, whether it's on sale or not. And through these services you can get some pretty good deals as well. Uh, so first up, number four, we're going to be starting with GOG, Good Man, uh, Good Old Gaming, sorry. Um, and the idea behind this site originally, as you can tell by a lot of the pixel art style games here, was that it was mostly meant to cater to old school gamers, uh, the people who like, uh, let's say, games like Baldur's Gate from the 90s. You can see uh, Planescape Torment. They have the enhanced edition now. Uh, actually, yeah, that. The company that's been doing all the D&D games, Enhanced Editions, apparently they just released another one. I assume that's the same company. Anyway, and uh, over the time, they've been moving more and more towards uh, just kind of being a more general game store where they provide all kinds of packages for you to go ahead and download. And now they even have a GOG uh, client for Windows that you can go ahead and manage your game downloads, has automatic updates, and... Um, one of the games that I've been really enjoying that basically requires you to have that client is uh, Gwent. So Gwent is the card game from The Witcher, and it's now been made into a PC card game that you can just play uh, in the realms of something like Hearthstone, Fairy, uh, Magic the Gathering, etc. Uh, very solid. But the, uh, the client itself seems to be pretty nice. And the store... Um, I would say particularly for me, uh, and this may be a little bit biased, but the kinds of games that they've had over the years have just been more catered to my kind of niche audience. Um, a lot of these games that they've brought back, I would consider to be very good games. They're not like throwing in trashy stuff that no one's ever played. And yeah, there are a lot of trashy games out there, let's be honest. Um, so overall, I think it's a very solid number four. Um, now moving on to number three, itch.io. So number three, moving on to itch.io. This is a relatively new service that particularly focuses on indie developers and indie gamers. Um, on their site, you can find a lot of different options to go ahead and play, both free, pay-to-play, and uh, games that basically let you download for free, but recommend that you give some kind of donation to the creator. Uh, I've gone ahead and actually put my own game up there, and that is Heart Battle, which is on Android, of course, the Google Play Store, and on itch.io. Um, and what makes it nice is both the interface and the ability for uh, basically small developers to get their game up there. So you will see a lot of games here. Um, that might be decent, but are kind of unheard of, uh, because uh, as an indie developer, it's pretty hard to get your stuff uh, known. <laughs> so you can go through here, you can find some cool stuff. It might be a couple dollars, it might be free to play, uh, but the actual client behind it and the interface of their website are very clean, definitely a lot better than some of the older competitors. Um, that may even focus just on kind of more triple A games. Uh, so this is a very solid site, and I expect as time goes forward in the coming years, the itch.io will become a bigger deal, hopefully, because I do like it a lot. Okay, next up, and uh, this is kind of a twofold site, uh, site humblebundle.com, which has both now a digital download store, kind of in the classical sense where you just find a game you like, you pay, you download it. Um, but it also has the Humble Bundles, which is what the site was originally about. Uh, now, we're not going to really evaluate it on that today um, because we're more focused on just downloading the games you want rather than getting game bundles. Uh, but I will say that the Humble Bundles are by far the best bundles out there as far as uh, kind of getting good value and getting good games from it. A lot of the other bundles that they try to push on you on the internet uh, tend to have crappy games, but Humble Bundle, well, not so much. Now, uh, that free promotion aside, completely unpaid by them, by the way, um, their store itself has tended to have some pretty good games in it as well. You can see some of the deals right here today. Tabletop Simulator, some of my friends have been telling me I need to get that, and uh, it is interesting to me kind of being a 
just the dragon's nerd a bit. Uh, South Park, The Stick of Truth, a lot of streamers were playing that, seemed pretty fun. Um, and Watch Dogs 2, some other games. Uh, so they're definitely getting more and more access to those premium AAA titles as well lately. And they have a Android app which you can download to manage your games on the Android phone. Very nice, because uh, as... I mean, especially if you're doing the bundles thing, you can get a lot of games and not really uh, know which games you have and which you don't. That's always the problem with uh, buying too many digital games. Um, and yeah, since the uh, the games you buy on the bundles kind of go into the same platform, uh, whatever you have both through the store and the bundles you purchase are manageable just by logging in or downloading the app for Android. So very solid site there, and that's my number two. Uh, number one, of course, uh, I, I think pretty much anyone who's a gamer out there would have predicted uh, Steam, still the gold standard in 2017. So Steam, I think, may have been one of the first ones out there and definitely is the most powerful one today, having access to pretty much all of the AAA PC titles. If you're anybody, uh, you want to try to get your game on Steam, because that's where a lot of eyeballs are at. Steam has a lot of features surrounding it, uh, basically community forums and groups, and uh, the sales that they put out are often some of the best out there. So, like right now, you can see Anime Weekend sale. Anime games might not be your thing, but if you go down and you check some of the specials out, um, definitely a lot of popular games that would appeal to a lot of different people out there. And Steam's almost always having some kind of big sale. Uh, so... I guess that's pretty much it. Um, the reason that Steam is number one is probably A, because its client has been the most refined. It's got things like Steam Guard on it, so that it kind of helps to protect your account from getting hacked uh, by forcing people to, well, forcing you to occasionally log into your email to check to get a verification code, which means that if someone tries to log into your account, they can't do it because they need that second line of verification. Um, but also because it pretty much has the best games out there, the most complete collection, uh, and reasons like that. So that's going to be the top list for digital download game services in 2017. There are, of course, other ones out there uh, that I just felt didn't quite make the cut in this video. I do hope that in the future, though, we get some extra options. I mean, having competitors to ones like Steam is never a bad thing. Um, kind of forces them to be on their toes. But hopefully this video has uh, been both entertaining and giving you something to think about as far as how you want to purchase your games going forward. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in my future video content.